Hello, let us solve this one. So here the question says there are 30 people who are sitting around a round table, round table like this. Now some of them are wearing hat. Those who do not wear a hat have to speak truth. Okay, let me note down. Not wearing hat always speak truth. And those who wear a hat can either speak truth or lie. So they have both the choices. So if they are wearing hat, they have both the choices. They can speak truth or they can lie. They all claim that at least one of my two neighbors people wear a hat. What is the biggest number of people that do not wear a hat? So let us visualize this situation very nicely. So let's say person who is sitting here not wearing hat. Now person who is not wearing hat has to speak truth. Now what is the claim made by each and everyone who is sitting? The claim is that at least one of my two neighboring people wear a hat. So what I can do, I will take not wearing hat here and I will put a person wearing hat over here. So in that case, this person is telling truth, right? One of the neighbor, at least one of the neighbor, it means it can be both or it can be one and here we want biggest number of people who do not wear hat so that's why i am not putting hat both the sides even if i put hat both the sides statement will be correct because it says at least one of my two neighbor so that means if both the neighbors wear hat that is also okay in that case also the claim is correct made by this person but we want biggest number of people who do not wear hat so that's why I will arrange one person wearing hat and one person not wearing hat as neighbor because I want maximum people not wearing hat in this arrangement. Now just think about going ahead. What could be the scenario here? So here again I can put not wearing hat but that will create the problem. If I do that, that means this person is lying and that person is not allowed to lie not wearing hat always tells the truth if i put not wearing hat here it means both the neighbors both the neighbors of these not wearing hat and claim says at least one of my two neighbors wear the hat that means thing that i can put here is only h i cannot put anything else here yes now let's think about next one so next one I will put NH. Why I am focusing on NH? Because we want biggest number of people not wearing hat. Can I put next NH? What do you think? Yes, I can put. If I put NH, then claim of this person will be wrong because it says at least one of my two neighboring people wears the hat and here nobody is wearing the hat for this person. But person who is wearing hat is allowed to lie. So it's okay. This person is lying. Isn't it? Now what could be next after that? So after that, can I put NH again? Yes, I can. So now for these NH, claim is correct and these NH always speaks the truth. So claim is correct. One of my neighbor, at least one of my neighbor is wearing the hat. Yes, one neighbor is wearing the hat. So now if you observe from the beginning, the pattern is going like this. Hat, not wearing hat, not wearing hat. Hat not wearing hat not wearing hat so this is how you will repeat this pattern 10 times because you have 30 people so if you repeat this pattern h n h n h if you repeat this pattern 10 times then there will be 20 people not wearing hat and 10 people will be wearing hat question is asking what is the biggest number of people that do not wear hat that is 20. i tried to explain in as easy language as possible i hope you find it useful